Hi, I'm Agangsha, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore, India. Today, I'm going to show you a quick demo of how to use models in the Amazon API Gateway. We will cover the step-by-step -step process of creating a simple model, associating it with the API method, and then testing it. Let's get started. Prerequisites. An API with POST method having AWS Lambda integration. The procedure is divided into four parts. Create a new model for your API. Associate the model with the API method and then test it using the test console. Create a body mapping template of the model. Deploy and test the API in real time. First, write a simple model using JSON schema. Refer to the Knowledge Center article with this video for resources and examples on how to write models. Here, we'll just focus on associating the model with the API. For our example, we'll consider that our API users should pass the user ID, name and age in the request body as shown on the screen. Now we'll create a model from the API Gateway console. After logging into the AWS Management console, open the API Gateway console and choose your API. Choose the Models tab and then choose Create Model. Give a name to your model and enter the content type as application slash JSON because we are passing a JSON body. You can specify any other content type according to the type of the request body. Copy the model which you just wrote and then save it. We have now created our model. Let's go ahead and associate it with the API method. In the API Gateway console, under Resources, choose the POST method and then choose the tab Method Request. Under the Request Validator option, from the drop-down, choose Validate Body. Now expand the Request Body tab and then choose the model that you just created. Next, we are going to test the model in the test page of the console. Navigate to the POST method that we just associated the model with. Choose the Test tab, you will be directed to the Test Console. In the Test Console of API Gateway, pass the request body. I'll use this body. You'll get a 200 OK message if the body is according to the model schema and passes all the validations. If you do not pass the user ID or name, or if the type does not match, then you'll get a 400 error with the message invalid request body. For example, this body is not valid as it doesn't have user ID which is a required attribute. Before deploying the API, optionally you can create a body mapping template for the model which you can then modify with the values sent to the backend. Navigate to the integration request tab of the method. Expand the body mapping template tab and in the general template drop down choose your model. Modify the model values according to the input body. These values will be passed to your integrated backend. Finally, we'll deploy and test the API to use it in real time. Deploy the API from the console by navigating to Actions Deploy API. Now test the API using a tool of your choice. I have used the Postman app for this demonstration. In the Postman app, create a new request, type your URL and then choose Post method. In the headers, add content type as application slash JSON. Choose the body tab and then choose raw and JSON from the drop down. Type a valid request body and then choose the send button to make a request. We have now the response 200 OK as expected. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.